This video I'm going to cover the fabrication of the arm piece. It's made out of six millimeter or quarter inch foam and the two detail pieces are made of two or three millimeter foam. There are two elastic straps on here glued into place which hold it up on your arm. So for your pattern pieces you want to print out the patterns for arm one and arm two. There's a total of seven total pieces five for the actual arm piece itself and two detailed pieces and those are all labeled out on the pattern pieces themselves. So this front piece right here is labeled A5, this piece is A4, A3, A2, and A1. You'll see that they are labeled on the pattern pieces right here. When you're cutting out the pattern pieces, be mindful that some of them do have 45 degree cuts and those are all noted on the pattern pieces themselves. It'll say directly right on them which edges are supposed to be 45 degree bevel cuts. Since this is for the right arm, I flipped the pattern pieces over to create the left arm. If you notice closely, I did label the pieces. This one is labeled A1 and I put a T on here for top to help me keep track of how the pieces go together. A1 connects to A2, A2 connects to A3, A3 to A4, A4 to A5. And here are the pattern pieces for the top details. Here they are cut out. That's this piece right here and this piece right here on the back. Now that I have all these pieces cut out, I will glue them together. After you have your base piece all glued together, I would recommend laying your detail pieces down and tracing out where you want them to lay so that you have a guide to follow when gluing the pieces in place. This way it reduces your chance of having excess glue going past where the pieces are actually going to sit. So once you have everything all glued together, your next step would be to add the elastic straps. It's a pretty easy thing to do. All you need to do is measure your arms, figure out the difference around the arm piece and then cut out some elastic pieces probably a few inches shorter and then glue them roughly around the center piece here and then one down at the bottom and if it does come out too loose or too tight it's not too big of a deal you can always cut off the elastic and then re-glue with an appropriate sized piece thanks for checking out this video if you'd like to learn more about using foam for costumes and props click on one of the videos on the right if you'd like to pick up some patterns to make your own foam armor click the image on the left